Oklahoma presents an intriguing landscape for exploration, with its unique geographic location nestled at the crossroads of the Midwest, Southwest, and Southern cultures. The state's history is marked by its role as a relocation area for numerous large tribes from the South, contributing to a distinctive, albeit poignant, historical narrative. Despite these rich cultural and historical dimensions, the current population of Oklahoma stands at approximately 4 million, a stark contrast to the bustling metropolis of Dallas alone, which boasts a population equal to half of the entire state. This prompts the question of why so few Americans choose to call Oklahoma home. In our exploration today, we delve into the multifaceted aspects of Oklahoma's history, including its pivotal role in the notorious Trail of Tears, while also pondering the demographic dynamics that have resulted in a relatively modest population for a state situated in such proximity to Texas, with its nearly 30 million residents. Oklahoma's rich narrative intricately weaves through the tapestry of American history, unfolding over millennia from its genesis alongside indigenous communities to its eventual statehood. This diverse tapestry was originally threaded by a mosaic of Native American tribes like the Osage, Wichita, and Caddo, who called the region home. The arrival of European explorers, epitomized by the expedition of Spanish explorer Francisco Vázquez de Coronado in 1541, heralded a chapter of transformation marked by French influence and their avid interest in fur trade. The geopolitical landscape witnessed a series of transitions through European conflicts and treaties until the monumental Louisiana Purchase in 1803 incorporated the territory into the United States. However, the 1800s cast a shadow over Oklahoma as it became the stage for the tragic Trail of Tears, forcibly displacing Native American tribes such as the Cherokee, Chickasaw, and Creek. This sorrowful episode redefined the region as Indian territory, setting the stage for further complexity with the Oklahoma land runs. The land rushes saw non-indigenous settlers racing to claim free land, sparking both rapid development and contentious disputes that led to the displacement of Native American populations. Approaching the turn of the century, the statehood debate surged, reaching its pinnacle with the passage of the Oklahoma Organic Act in 1890. This legislative milestone amalgamated Oklahoma Territory and Indian Territory, paving the way for statehood on November 16, 1907. Oklahoma's entrance into the Union was explosive, marked by a complex history that has shaped its unique identity within the broader tapestry of the United States. Oklahoma's geography is a kaleidoscope that reflects the intricate palette of its storied history, weaving together a distinctive tapestry of topographical features, climates, and natural resources that have profoundly influenced human experiences within its borders. Nestled in the south-central region of the United States, Oklahoma acts as a transitional nexus, absorbing and blending characteristics from the Great Plains, the U.S. South, and the Southwest. The state unfolds in a patchwork of geographical regions, with the expansive western terrain dominated by the Great Plains, an expanse of vast, flat grasslands that stretch endlessly into the horizon. This arid landscape provides an ideal canvas for activities like cattle ranching and wheat farming, shaping the livelihoods of those who call it home. Contrastingly, eastern Oklahoma paints a different scene, adorned with the Wister Mountains and Ozark Plateau. These regions boast lush forests and a more humid climate, creating an environment conducive to timber and poultry farming. The interplay of these divergent landscapes is further heightened by the meandering presence of major rivers, including the Arkansas and Red Rivers, which crisscross the state. These waterways are not mere geographical features. They are lifelines that have etched their significance into the very fabric of Oklahoma's identity serving as conduits for trade, transportation, and agriculture. These rivers have played a pivotal role in the cultivation of crops, such as corn, soybeans, and cotton in the fertile regions that line their banks. The dynamic dance of contrasting landscapes and vital waterways contributes to the multifaceted character of Oklahoma, each geographical element playing a role in the state's unique identity.
It is a testament to the harmonious coexistence of arid plains and verdant mountains and the delicate balance between human activities and the natural environment that collectively define the geography of this remarkable state. Along the winding banks of its rivers, Oklahoma unfolds a captivating feature known as the Oklahoma Cross Timbers, a stretch of land that gracefully extends from southeastern Kansas through central Oklahoma into northeastern Texas. This distinctive region, adorned with a seamless blend of prairie, savanna, and woodland, acts as a natural delineation between the lush, densely forested eastern part of the state and the expansive, almost treeless horizon of the Great Plains. In terms of climate, Oklahoma finds itself situated within the confines of Tornado Alley, a region renowned for its frequent tornadoes, particularly during the spring and early summer. Nestled amid the convergence of cold, dry air from the Rocky Mountains, hot, arid air from the Sonoran Desert, and warm, humid air from the Gulf of Mexico, Tornado Alley boasts the unenviable record of witnessing the highest number of tornadoes globally. This unique atmospheric interplay introduces an element of risk to an otherwise generally safe state in the realm of natural disasters. Despite their close geographical proximity, Oklahoma and Texas diverge significantly in population, a contrast shaped by historical events, economic trajectories, and distinct geographical features. Texas, with its lengthier history of settlement and development, boasts a more extensive population, a facet intricately woven into its annexation history. The pivotal discovery of oil in the early 1900s played a transformative role in Texas's exponential growth, propelling Houston into the global spotlight as a major energy hub, while Dallas burgeoned as a thriving business and trading center. In stark contrast, Oklahoma, historically designated as Indian Territory, charted its developmental course later. Despite evolving into a regional energy hub in its own right, Texas solidified its status as the headquarters for major American oil companies. Texas's direct access to the Gulf of Mexico bestowed upon it a logistical advantage in the transportation of oil and natural gas, an advantage that landlocked Oklahoma couldn't replicate. Presently, Oklahoma stands as a growing state with approximately 4 million residents, primarily concentrated in the metro areas of Oklahoma City and Tulsa. The state's unique panhandle, a consequence of historical and legal decisions in the 1800s, contributes to its distinct shape. The panhandle's separation from Texas was a condition for Texas's statehood, and its subsequent annexation into Oklahoma in 1907 further enriches the state's unique historical tapestry. While Oklahoma may have a smaller population compared to its Texan neighbor, many Oklahomans value the state's unhurried pace of life, contributing to a contented populace less preoccupied with the rapidity of growth. This cultural nuance adds a distinctive charm to Oklahoma, affirming that the state's appeal extends beyond mere demographics to encompass a lifestyle that fosters satisfaction and appreciation for a more measured way of living. That's a wrap for why Oklahoma is vastly emptier than Texas. If you learned something, be sure to subscribe.